Well, hello there. <clears throat> I'm uh, just going to show you what I've bought today. I've bought an electric bench from Biltema. And um, the reason why I bought it is that I need to haul some, some logs, some wood. And it's so damn heavy all the time trying to drag it out um, from the forest. Uh, so I have some logs laying around and it's about 10 meters in from the from the road and I hauled out like two or three of them and my back is really aching so I thought why not buy an electrical winch and this is the cheapest one they have because I'm not sure if it's gonna work or how it's gonna work or if I need it or if I need something else. So I bought it. It's uh, 799 Swedish crowns. That's about $80, I guess. Uh, and it's 12 volt, uh, powered by a 12 volt batteries, I guess. I guess you could take it from the car, but uh, it's, I think it drains quite fast. So I'm gonna pull my logs up to a trailer and um, yeah, I'm going to show you how I'm going to open this and try to get it started and see what it goes for. Okay. So, here we go. But it's supposed to be like this. This is what it contains. Manual. Something to uh, hold on to something. It's always fun. They say it's going to take a, have a capacity of nine hundred and seven kilos. Um, I guess you have to have something that could hold nine hundred and seven kilos as well. Uh, cables. Manual. Cable remote controller. That's funny. Uh, and this is cable guide, I guess. That's, that's kind of clever. They make it so it can go from all directions. That's good. Because that's just one of the things that I'm thinking about. Uh, and yep, this is it. It's quite heavy. It's about 7.2 kilos I can read on the box. <clears throat> and a big rubber band here. Guess you shouldn't have there, and it's not supposed to be used. Quite a tension on the wire. Um, so and there should be a um, free wheel. Pull this one out. And no. Okay. So you're supposed to pull this one out and turn. Yeah, that's a really clever one. Ah, there you go. There you go. So, how do I get it back? Hmm. Hey. No. Must 
been fully engaged to power. You always have to rip up all the boxes so you can never return it. Uh, this is what it's supposed to be. It feels like between the battery and the actual machine. And um, everything is so heavily folded together using indestructible things to they could build airplanes out of this they would never crash so I guess I guess I should read the manual uh, how do I connect these things So this is for the battery, and this is for the winch. Um, okay, so we need some tools for this. And it's so nice that they choose to have blue and yellow. Why couldn't they have black and red? Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, there it is. The yellow is, is the positive one and the blue one is the negative. That makes a lot of sense. Ah, it's yellow here as well, so probably that's why. <clears throat> you couldn't bother to look for something that was black and red. But the cables are black and red. Sorry, my bad. go and we have a connection and there is a hook as well that's good so well, this box is uh, some screws this box is empty so I can that one and that one so we need a battery where do I have a battery I have some power on it Try this one. I don't think it's gonna work, but never mind. Hey, how am I supposed to get this one connected to that? Isn't that a big clue? See what happens. Hmm. I don't think there's any power on this. Let's try it. It's working! How can I get this one to stay there then? Stay. work 
working. It's up and running. I need to fix some connectors for the battery and um, I thought it was going to be slower, but it, it's, it's quite quick. Yeah, let's see what happens. So, now I've well, a small bracket for this one, so I can just put it over uh, the side of the trailer. Uh, and what else is in this shape? Um, it's very easy, and I attached it to the original uh, holder, and it looks like shit, but it it works. That's the main thing. <coughs> so now I have uh, to take it out and in. And it's strong. So now we just go out in the forest to collect some logs. Well, here we are in the forest and I forgot to put the camera on. But what I've done now is I have released uh, this knob that made it possible for me to wheel out the, um, the wire. And now I will try to get this one locked again. Uh, and I've taken out the wire all the way up here to um, one of the logs that I have laying around. Uh, and I'll put a, uh, something on it. Yeah, a chain, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, so now I'm gonna try to reel it in. And uh, I guess it's just to sit and wait. I am going to try to keep the tension on the wire though. Um, yeah. The wire is just going to be where, it's, where the pressure is. So I have to guide the wire so it comes in straight. <laughs> So overall, it's a um, cheap thing, but it works, and it's um, it does what it's supposed to do for that money. So um, yeah, I don't know if it's faster, but it's sure as hell is easier. Bye. <clears throat>